Hey everyone, this is Phil. This is an average of 5 I did on the GAN 356i. This was done in training mode and I got a 926, so not so bad. It looks like I have a slight bad habit of filling in cross pieces during my solve, which probably accounts for why the app thinks my cross is so slow. To compensate, it looks like my fluency scores are kinda good. Just FYI, fluency score is a stat GAN invented to measure how continuous your turning is. It goes up to 100, and the closer you get to 100, the smoother your turning is. If you have a lot of pauses, you'll get a lower score. I'm really curious about how people with really sharp work ahead will score in this category. Overall, I think this is a fantastic Cuban app. The app can always use more development, but the core functionalities are there. I hope it can have more features for other methods so that we can all get more detail about how we're solving. That or I can just quit easy. The cube has a novel design that works, and so I like it as well. The internal radius is super massive, making the core look like a big ball. The piece bases are also quite large. The interesting thing about this cube is that it has a really prominent crunchy feel. I don't think any recent GAN cube has this feel, so I appreciate the designers branching out. I lubed my cube with a little cubicle lab silk, and that's all it took to get the cube working well. In my time off, I really enjoy racing people as far as the other side of the world. If you want to find me, my username is SecretXBunny. Don't ask me why. To me, the GAN 356i definitely represents a high point in the intersection between tech and hardware. I'm really excited to see how this product develops in the future, and thanks for watching.